T-minus 21 seconds in the solid uh, rocket booster engine gimbal now underway. T-minus 15 seconds. T-minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. We have main engine start. 4, 3, 2, 1, and liftoff. Liftoff of the 25th Space Shuttle mission, and it has cleared the tower. Good roll program confirmed. Challenger now heading down range. Engines beginning throttling down now at 94 percent. Normal throttles uh, for most of the flight, 104 percent. We'll throttle down to 65 uh, percent shortly. Engines at 65 percent. Three engines uh, running normally. Three good fuel cells. Three good APUs. Velocity 2,257 feet per second. Altitude 4.3 nautical miles. Downrange distance 3 nautical miles. So the 25th Space Shuttle mission is now on the way after more delays than NASA cares to count. This morning it looked as though they were not going to be able to get off. One minute, 15 seconds. Velocity 2,900 feet per second. Altitude 9 nautical miles. Downrange distance 7 nautical miles. Looks like a couple of the uh, solid rocket boosters uh, blew away from the side of the shuttle in an explosion. Flight controllers here looking very carefully at the situation. Obviously a major malfunction. We have no downlink. Waiting word, they're holding their breath just, I'm sure, as everyone else is. You saw it just a few moments ago, about 45 seconds after liftoff, a huge fireball in the sky. We have a report from the flight dynamics officer that the vehicle has exploded. Flight director confirms that. We are uh, looking at uh, checking with the recovery forces to see uh, what can be done at this point. procedures are in effect. Um, it exploded. We will report uh, more as we have information available. Again, to repeat, uh, we have a report uh, relayed through the flight dynamics officer that the vehicle has exploded. We are now looking at uh, all the contingency operations and awaiting uh, word from any recovery uh, forces in the downrange field. What appears to be a major catastrophe in America's space program, Challenger, only seconds after leaving the launch pad, according to NASA, has exploded in midair. No word yet on if there are any survivors.